Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to use int function in Excel. Int is a mathematical function and stands for integer. And as the name suggests, this gives us the integer part from a number. So let me show you how it works. I type int and I hit tab to autocomplete the function. You can see this takes one single argument which is a number and it will use that number to give you the integer part of that number. If you give a text in this argument, then it would return an error. So in this case, let me select A2. I close the bracket and I hit Control Enter. And this gives me 12 because 12 is the integer part and, and 2 is the decimal part. So what this is doing is this is truncating the decimal part and only gives you the integer section. Now let me show you what if the decimal part is different. In this case I had 12.2, here I have 12.9 and I hit control enter but this still gives me 12. So this means that no matter what your decimal value is it will get truncated and you would only get the integer part. The behavior changes a bit when you have a negative number. So if this is the number 12.2, let's see what happens. I type int and I select minus 12.2 you may expect this to return minus 12 but in this case this returns minus 30 and the reason is that this rounds away from 0 so if there is a negative number it returns the integer part by rounding away from 0 in this case when it rounds away from 0 it becomes 13 so whenever there is a negative number then this formula would behave differently by rounding it off to an integer away from 0 and returning this value. If it is a positive number, then the decimal part gets truncated and only the integer part is returned. So this is how int function works in Excel. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.